it's Shawnee. Welcome back. Guess what time it is? It is time for our weekly roundup where I go over all of the eyeshadow palettes I used over the past week and I rank them from least liked to most liked. Now today we have seven slots and before I jump in, remember last week when I called a few people out for not using their single shadows? You know who you are. Guess we didn't use any single shadows this week? This guy. So, hypocrite, party of one. <laughs> but we'll try again next week, okay? Now, at number seven, I have the Adept Cosmetics Sumerian Sunset Palette. Now, I actually did two looks with this palette. I did one that was more like contrast and color, and the other was more like monochromatic, but with a little bit of shimmer. I really enjoy Adept's... Um, their shimmer, multi-chrome, whatever formula. It's like soft. Some of them even feel like putty. I find that they are best applied with a finger rather than trying to go in with a brush. I think you're not gonna get the like opacity that most of us are looking for. Or you can use one of those like sponge tip applicators. A depth is not known for their mattes, at least in my opinion, and I think probably in everyone else's. Uh, but I do like that the pans are magnetic. So you can go ahead and pop the shades out if you wanted to and put in some other ones, <laughs> either from other Adept palettes or if you have pans that are the same size, then you can mix and match all you want. Oh, you know what? I, what if I put all the mattes in one of the Adept palettes and then the shimmers all you know, in other ones. That's a thought. And I love moving shades and stuff around. So that is at number seven. I, this is not my favorite Adept palette. First of all, the packaging is gorgeous. Um, but I like a lot of the other palettes more. So because of that, I feel like I hadn't been using this one as much. So I just wanted to pull it out and use it. You can see that this, that orange shimmer there, pack lead is one that I use quite frequently. There's a little bit of pan in there. Um, so I just really, really enjoy their shimmers. At number six, we have Patricia McGrath, the dame, the mother. And I used, shoot, I put it away. No, that's not it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's this Deluxe Quad Bronze Borealis. It is actually the look that I, yeah, wow what's happening. It's the look that I actually have on today. I only use two colors, just these two. I feel like it is simple but pretty. Um, I feel like I'm living my best neutral life lately. Now I remember when this came out because I used to jump on everything pet just like right away, you know, like white on rice, like real fast and quick. But then over, over time things have changed, you know, and I was like, are these pants smaller? So I went ahead and looked in the rest of my collection of PMG and um, they are. So there's that. But you know what? Whatever anybody says, I still love me some Pat McGrath, okay? Pat and Zanessa, don't come for them because I will come right on back. Um, I do think that uh, uh, Patricia, like I'm like we're friends. I do think that Patricia has a certain like population in mind for her palettes. Um, I don't even know if she's at the brand anymore. I, me and Tracy have like a conspiracy theory going on. Uh, but I still think that her eyeshadows are great. They're going to give you more of a softer look, but the special shades are going to amp things up for you. I think that people who are less into like, oh my God, like see the purple from up in the sky, you know, I think it's more chill people who are using Pat McGrath. Um, but I always, I always go to my Pat McGrath for like some pretty classic, but a little bit of boom, a little bit of boom. For you right so I enjoy this look I have a client that I see on certain days I always make sure to have my Pat McGrath on for this client because we start every session talking about what products are good and not and all that jazz so uh I love me some Pat all right at 
number five, I have the Dose of Colors Sheets A10 palette. Now this was a pretty simple, pretty look. This is a very neutral palette. This black is so smooth. Like it doesn't, I don't even know. It doesn't even feel like eyeshadow. It's like so smooth. Like if you just rubbed your finger down my face, that kind of smooth. Now I like this palette. I hadn't used Dose of Colors eyeshadow palettes in a while. I used to have all, almost all of their five pans, all the matte ones. And I loved those for like a quick throw it in your bag, go to work kind of look. I did give my sister a few of them because she just likes that simple kind of matte look. Um, it's like monochromatic and really easy to kind of put together. But when I saw this one, I was like, oh, I want to celebrate their 10 year anniversary as a brand also. And I love, they have my favorite liquid lipstick formula and my favorite gloss formula. Only thing I don't like is I feel like they get rid of the shades pretty quickly, um, but still like all time favorite. This look is just super pretty and easy and you know, whatevs. It's not the neutral palette I reach for the most, but it is one that I have enjoyed every time I use it. So she's a 10. We're all 10s. At number four, we have two mini palettes. That is the Natasha Denona Mini Biba. Show that one to you. And the Natasha Denona Mini Nude. So I kind of combined these, but mainly I stuck with the mini nude. And I would say when I'm looking at these, this is the mini nude, mini Biba. I think I prefer the mini nude. Now, one thing that's making me choose that is this shade here. It's a brown, but it has like a reddish undertone. And this is one of her creamy mattes, which I'm one that doesn't mind the creamy mattes. Um, and I think this isn't as much of a red undertone as this one. I don't know. I don't know. They almost look the same, right? I don't think you can go wrong with either of these palettes. I think they're both really cute, really pretty. You can get some really nice looks. Like, until I got my Denessa Myricks <laughs> groundwork palette, I would say these are the, like, the mini Natasha palettes are the ones I would take when I was going out of town or something. Um... So yeah, this was a look that I did at work. I think it was nice, easy, pretty. I think, did I use like two shades, three shades maybe? It was something relatively simple because I'm still living my best neutral life right now. That was number four. Number three is a new palette to me. It was gifted to me by my girl, my mama bear, Erica Conger. And it is the Viseart Minxette Etanbu palette and this is just like right up my alley much more so than Erica. She liked the palette but felt like I would get more use out of it because it's kind of like my jam um and I think I again I used like two shades for this look and really enjoyed it so this is definitely just adding to my collection of Viseart which I love. I really enjoy Viseart palettes. What I will say is that I think Viseart um the shades and stuff are a bit more, not necessarily muted, but like softer. So kind of similar to um, some of Pat McGrath's palettes, you can get a really nice like neutral look. You can amp it up for both of them. And Pat McGrath has a lot of just gorgeous shades. But I would say if you're looking for just like something quick and small and petite and um, knowing that you can get a very like office friendly wearable look, check out Viseart. Now check them out when they have a sale. Don't check for them if they don't, okay? Because their stuff is relatively expensive. And honestly, you can definitely find some uh, less expensive, really good eyeshadow palettes. But I do like Viseart. I like the formula, really e easy to use. Um, these are also magnetic. So if you have the ones that are this size, you can um, move these around and create your own palettes. And I really always enjoy doing that. So this is the Minxette et Tendu from Mama Bear. At number two, are we already at number two? Poof. Okay. <laughs> that is another Patricia 
palette and it is the Mega Mothership Celestial Nirvana. Now this is one that I use to create a very matte purple look and this was the look I had on in my collab with Nikki Lynn. We both used this palette and I was telling her like we were texting and I was like I love that we used the same palette but came out with very different looks and looks that really suit each of us you know so I really love the versatility of um, Pat's palettes and the mega ones I would say the mega ones you get more bang for your buck because you get like 18 shades I think I'm not gonna count right now but that's three rows of six 18 shades um, and you really get to try out the the brand right the only thing you don't get in these bigger palettes the mega palettes um, are this the what are what are they called special shades. I was about to say the simple shades. I'm like, that don't sound right. The special shades. But that's okay because I think you can still enjoy the brand with what you get here. And I don't think I've ever done a matte look with Pat McGrath, but I really enjoyed this one. It was just real pretty. Now, keeping on the purple train, because it seems like I was either doing um, like neutral, <laughs> neutral looks brown looks and then on the other hand I was doing like boom pow purple looks and so at the top of the list I am going with the Cosmic Beauty formerly Cosmic Brushes Gothic palette now this is the palette I used to do a look with my girl Jam Van our weekly collab and I'm just telling you I'm I'm loving this palette now of course you will only get a purple look from this palette you know who I'm talking to <laughs> who doesn't like purple but still wants the palette. Now, you're definitely only going to get a purple look. So if you don't like purple, stay away from it. But if you do want to have some purple shadow in your repertoire, I would say you could go for this because this will cover all the purples, right? You won't need to get another purple. You'll just have like, this is my purple palette. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy Cosmic Beauty like... I love their palettes and I've said it before and I'll say it again. The only thing that freaks me out is that their palettes sell out like practically before they even are released and that causes me a lot of anxiety. I don't appreciate it. Um, other than that though, I, I think their palettes are worth it because they're also not expensive. Um, in comparison to like some other brands, especially indie brands. Ooh, I don't want to put this out in the universe, but I feel like they're going to raise their prices just a little bit because they've gotten more and more popular, in my opinion. Um, and I'm here for it. Grow your business, babes. And I want to say that they are owned by people of color, maybe, and a woman, potentially. Um, I don't know. But I really like their palettes. I love their color stories. This is the first of their palettes that is smaller. Like I think her, their, I'm not sure, quite sure. Their other ones are, um, what are they, like 20 something shades. Uh, so this is only 12. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I really love the look that I did. It was just like dramatic in the best way. Oh, yeah. So I think that's it. Of course, I would like to know what you used this week. And if anyone that I called out, if you used a single shadow, let me know. And you're welcome for the encouragement to do so. <laughs> Don't forget to let me know what you used over this past week or what you plan to use next week. I think that's about it. I hope that some of this was helpful and I also hope that you are continuing to take care of yourself. I would love it if you liked the video and I would love it even more if you subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.